Hi guys, are you guys having a great day? Because I am. Today I'm going to be talking about how to skyrocket your business with testimonials. Hi guys, I'm Jay Burnham with TheRealJBurnham.com and I'm coming to you with another awesome episode of the TheRealJBurnham.com TV show or channel or something like that. But if you got an idea of what I should call it, hey, leave me a comment below. Maybe I'll use it. Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to tell you how testimonials and why testimonials are so flippant important. Um, I mean, and they will literally um, and can increase your business by 100 or more percent. Um, so if you want to double, triple, quadruple your business, testimonials are the way to go. And I don't care what kind of business you're in and I don't care what size of business you're in. Testimonials are key. Now, if you're a phone company, nobody likes the phone company. So forget it. You're not getting any testimonials. You will get reviews, but they're not going to be good. Comcast. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, Infinity. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to talk to you about testimonials. As you know, when I first started my moving company, I had no money, no cash, no kind of advertising budget. But and I had to start small with my moving business, start doing labor only jobs and and, and the small jobs like that because I had no trucks or anything like that. Didn't really hadn't worked out how to rent trucks appropriately and legally. Um, so we I did mostly just labor jobs, load up trucks, unload trucks, um, things like that. Um, but one of the things that I did know is that it was important to get testimonials, and that's what I did. But I was smarter than the average bear because back then um, we didn't have the smartphones we have today where you can just, you know, you know, and do something on the phone. We, you know, the phones had cameras. You could take a picture, but not really any video. And if you could take video, it was only like, you know, 10 seconds or less kind of thing. So it really wasn't all that good. But the one thing I did do is I saved up some money and I went and got one of those uh, sort of like back then they weren't they're not GoPros but uh, they were called the flip court uh, camera the flip cameras um, they're about the size of a about the size of a you know a cell phone they had a camera on top and you hit a little red button and you'd hold it like your cell phone and and, and do videos and I would take that with me for every job I did and then. Once we got done with the job, I would say, good, were you happy with our service? Did you like what we had to do? And they would say yes, or some of them would, you know, someone would say, yeah, it was okay. But if this guy, people were like, yeah, we were really happy with you. And he, you know, I could, you could tell when you're doing a good job. Um, I would ask the customer, well, great. Can I, can I get a quick uh, testimonial from you? Can I get a quick review uh, from you on, on the camera? And... A lot of them said yes, uh, not all of them, but a good portion of them said yes. And I would just take a video and I'd let them say whatever they wanted to say. It would be inside or outside and it would be right there on the uh, on the video. And uh, I would just let them say whatever they wanted to say. And I also trained my, uh, my workers when I started hiring the workers. I would train them on how to do this as well. That way they could do... If they had a great move, they could talk to the customer and do a video. Uh, that became a little harder when I started asking my guys to do it. But and that sort of felt that practice kind of fell out at that point because my guys just were uncomfortable for one reason or other asking customers to leave a review, which is silly. I don't know why. Because if you want to succeed in business, you need to get reviews. All right, that's important. Um, a review would anyway. We're getting ahead of the story, but anyway. I would do it, and then I would just take the the flip camera, which had already had a USB port. I'd plug it into my my computer, download the video, and put it up on YouTube. And then from the YouTube, I would share it on all the social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, um, etc. And, and it was a great, effective marketing tool. And uh, YouTube at the time would even allow you to take your portion, take your videos, and mash them all together. So I would go and I would take like ten of my uh, of my uh, testimonial videos and I'd make it into one big video which would last like a minute um, so I'd have a minute of different people uh, given a testimony about using you save moving and storage and I would take photos with them with me in the picture and so on and so forth, and I would post those 
and obviously I would request that they leave me a testimonial on Yelp and all the good, those good places. And by doing that, I really rocketed my business. Uh, before I started doing it, you know, we were kind of chugging along and we, and I was using third party sources and I would get a review through the third party source, which is, that was good. Don't get me wrong, but it really wasn't anything special. Um, but when I started doing video reviews, it really set me apart from all my other competitors, including the big guys like two men in a truck still does two men in a truck. Do not use video reviews in any of their marketing or advertising. I, I, it, the, it just shocks me it's like it's it's bonkers um i started doing the video reviews and at the time i was the only moving company in michigan the only moving company in michigan that was using video testimonials um eventually I, it started catching on and a couple others started doing them as well uh and that was great that's fine but to this day i'm really the only one that actually uses video reviews and testimonials and if you go to my homepage, you say movingandstorage.com, you'll see video testimonials right on my homepage. And this is what sets me apart from everybody else. Now, it's easy to get a review. How? You could go to fiverr.com and pay to get fake reviews left, right, and center for five, ten bucks all day long. You could get a hundred reviews for, you know, you can get 50 reviews, 25 reviews for five bucks. You know, and it's, you know, spend a hundred bucks and get 25 uh, video testimonials reviews for your business. They're all fake. Um, or you can go get rent tenant uh, uh, reviews from Yelp. And this is one reason why I hate Yelp, because Yelp can be so gamed today. Most of the reviews you're going to find on, on, on Yelp are fake. They're just garbage. Horrible reviews. All right. Um, there's other reasons why I don't use Yelp, but that's because they're an unethical and unreliable source, in my personal opinion. Don't sue me, Yelp, because I'm just giving my opinion. Here's my bad review of Yelp, my bad video testimonial of Yelp. Don't use them. Garbage. Waste of money. Waste of time. Um, anyway, does anybody use Yelp anymore? Let me know. Leave a comment below. If you use Yelp and you think Yelp's a good thing, leave a comment. And then I will school you on why using Yelp is one of the dumbest things you could ever do in your life. Because most of the reviews are just garbage. Um, um, but you can buy reviews. You can buy Facebook reviews, uh, Google Plus reviews. So uh, one of the things you got to do is you got to make sure when you're doing reviews is that your reviews are legitimate and, and they're authentic. You don't want to be using fake reviews. As a matter of fact, in Canada, there was a, a phone company called Bell Mobility that actually got hit with a million-dollar fine because they would go and use false and fake testimonials and put them all over the Internet. And the fake testimonials came from their employees, and they were written as if they were from a marketer. They weren't written from like, hey, I like it or not like it. So use testimonials, and if you use testimonials in the correct way, you're, you're, you can uh, you can really really rocket your business, all right. So the reason why the why testimonials testimonials are so important for your business success today is one they get the customer to know, like, and trust you, um, and that is the trifecta of business success. When a customer or client gets to know, like, and trust you. You're gonna get that. You're gonna get that person as a customer. And if you don't get them as a customer, then you the, later on down the road, or they're gonna tell your their friends and family. The second reason why, in my opinion, that it's so important to get testimonials is because it builds up credibility for your business, especially when you're a new business, when you're still like like a year, year, a year or less in business, people are a little skeptical in using you. So the more testimonials, the more reviews you can get, the better off it is going to be for you. And I found that to be personally true in my business. You've got to, you know, when I was just starting off, people didn't really want to give me a chance because I, I was so new. And they wanted a more established, more, uh, more uh, some, a company that's been around and not just some fly by night. They didn't want some guy who was going to be here one day, gone the next. So... So how I was able to overcome that was through 
uh, testimonials and reviews, especially video testimonials. And I think video testimonials are far superior to written ones. Uh, like I said, written testimonials are far are far easier to fake um, than than video testimonials. Video testimonials, somebody's actually got to get on the camera. Um, and I, later on, maybe I, if you're interested, I'll show you how to spot fake uh, fake reviews, uh, uh, video reviews. Okay. Now, where do you want to put your your testimonials? Well, the first place you want to put your testimonials, well, one, you're going to have to upload them. And the best way to, the only place you can really upload them easily and simply, unless you, you know, know, you know, some code and stuff is, is YouTube. But Vimeo is up another good place too. But you got to watch it with Vimeo because Vimeo is more of a creative uh, video site. They want more, they're not really uh, geared towards business or just, they're one, they want more creative, like, uh, music videos or fan-made movies and stuff like that. That's kind of thing that Vimeo is going for. They're not really going to go for the business side of it. So, but YouTube is your best, best play. There's other places, there's daily motion. There's a couple other places that you can put videos back in that. When I first started, MySpace was still around. I used to put videos up on MySpace all the time. Any place that would allow me to put videos up, I put my videos up. But the best place to first start is obviously YouTube, because from there you can disseminate your videos easier. Once you've got your video, your YouTube video, the second best place is put them all over your website. Obviously, put some on the homepage of your website. You've got to have your testimonials, and there's no such thing as having too many too much or too many testimonials on my website I've got three but I've got a link says for four for more click here and then I got a whole page of like 50 video testimonials you can go to I didn't want to overwhelm them I also on my sidebars when you when you go off the home page and, and go further into my website on the sidebars I put more testimonials I try to really put testimonials everywhere and anywhere I can on my website again there is no such thing as too many testimonials. Um, I know I just said I didn't want to overwhelm, but that was that was a decision I made for my home page. I didn't want to, but there's no such thing as too many testimonials. Um, the other place I, I've already discussed, anywhere that you could put a video, put a video. Facebook, Vimeo, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Periscope, uh, Pinterest, I think Pinterest does videos now. I don't know. Let me know. Leave me a comment below. If you know that if Pinterest can do videos or not, let me know below because I'd be interested. I have never put a video on Pinterest, but I think they can. Um, Snapchat. Um, I, you could do 10-minute uh, snaps. That would actually be a good thing. I have never tried that. I'm going to have to test that out, see how that works. gives me a great idea. But anywhere you can put videos, put up a video. Put Just put up your testimonials everywhere. Um, uh, as far as written testimonials, everywhere again. Just anywhere and everywhere you can. Angie's List, Craig's List, uh, Yelp, um, although I don't really like Yelp, as you heard before, and so on and so forth. Um, but the next question is, once you've got the testimony, how do you, even before all that, how do you get the testimonials? How do you get testimonials? Well, you could just hopefully wait around and that a customer will go to Facebook or something and leave a testimonial, which will happen. And you could just be a passive about it. Or you could be proactive and literally open your mouth and ask. That's right. The best way to get a, a, a video testimony or review, any kind of uh, positive feedback, is to ask for it. Every time we do a job, I send out what's this card. And I have a little, if you can see, it, it basically rates us. And you can put the different uh, rating, whether it's good, fair, poor, um, additional comments. And then it obviously gives a thing that indicates that you can find us online. But here's another thing that happens. I bribe them. Whoops, upside down. So I bribe them. It says, return this card for a free gift. Now, make sure if you're going to send something like that and say you're going to give them a free gift, send them a free gift. I send them like a, like a gift card for Big B's or Starbucks or, or something like that, Some depending on the area they're in. If I know that they're going to 
some city out of town, I will try to get a gift card from that area or some sort of uh, restaurant or something that has that's going to be there in that area. Um, but if you're going to bribe them, make sure you follow through with the bribe. But that's one way to ask. Or call them up, say, hey, leave me a testimonial, or write an email. Ask for the review. Ask for the testimonial. That is your best thing. Also, the best time to ask for the review is when they're happiest. Now, when I was doing my, my testimonials, I would ask after the move was done. Literally, I would be hot and sweaty and gar looking like, thank, probably not smelling the greatest. And I go, if did you guys like us? Yeah. Would you mind giving me a quick uh, testimony, a quick review of uh, our services? And I'd get them together and I said, great. And I'd point to them or say, start. And then they would give me, you know, 10 seconds, a minute or whatever it was, 30 seconds. And they would say, yeah, it was great service, blah, blah, blah. But you get them when they're the happiest. Don't get them when after you've screwed up because that's just foolish. Get them when they're happiest. That's just, That should be common sense. Uh, all right? So, and then when you do ask for the, the testimony, let them know, hey, you're doing me a favor. Could you do me a favor and give me a review? Could you go to Angie's list and leave me a review? Let them know that it's, it's valuable to you and that you know that they're going out of their way to help you out. Um, you know, just, you know, it would really mean a lot to me and it really helped my business if you would go to Angie's List or, or Facebook or wherever and, and leave me a review. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Let them know that w that action is, is, is important to you and that if they do it, you are in their, their, what's the word I'm looking for? You guys know what it, you know what the word is. Leave me a, yeah. Anyway, you're obligated to that customer if they leave your review, okay? And then when you do the review, so, you know, I'm not asking you to take a long time. Just write a quick review, a couple sentences, or leave me, you know, about 15 seconds of, of, of a review if they're doing a video testimony. It shouldn't take you long. You can do it on your phone and just send it to me, or I can do it on my phone and, and so on and so forth. And lastly, I'd already talked to you about this, but bribe them. Hey, you know, if you do this for me, here, here I'll knock like I'll knock twenty bucks off off of the bill. Would you be willing to do that? Oh, absolutely. You know, bribe them. It's okay, but do it ethically. Only if they're really happy. Don't bribe them when they're pissed off to give you a fake review. Fake reviews. I cannot stress enough. It actually does more harm to your credibility and the credibility of other businesses by paying for and asking for fake reviews. And I have no compassion to anyone that uses fake reviews. And I learn, and I speak out of personal experience because I've used fake reviews before and it's come to bite me in the ass. So I have learned and I have come to the conclusion that fake reviews are the most vile and evil thing you could do. It does not help any of your fellow business people whether they're in the same niche as you or in a different niche. If you go and put a bunch of fake reviews on Yelp, then it totally delegitimizes Yelp in general. And nobody comes in because they know that Yelp has horrible reviews. It doesn't help Yelp out. And you're actually harming that business. They're in business. Now, I don't like Yelp, but I don't want to harm them either. And you're not, you're not doing anybody else any favors by leaving fake reviews. So don't do it. I mean, seriously, don't do it. Amazon really just struck down. They're actually suing people that had paid for and put up fake reviews for the products and books and everything that they have on them. They're actually going and actually suing the people that left fake reviews. They don't like it. Leave good reviews. And the reason why Amazon is going after it because it delegitimizes the entire uh, company that legitimizes everybody that's using face uh, Amazon to make money um, it delegitimizes and stigmatizes you and, and it just does not do any favors for anybody so this is my rant don't leave or purchase or use fake reviews whether they're video reviews or written testimonials do not you do that please I implore you all right okay rant over
Anyway, I think I've uh, really uh, gone over the importance on why why uh, testimonials are so important, why they're they're uh, they they can really help you in your business, uh, and these are hard won factual things that I've learned in my business. So if you want to skyrocket your business, you really want to increase and boom business and get more leads and more customers, use testimonials liberally. Liberally. It's the only time that I like liberals is when you use testimonials liberally. Sorry. Had to do it. Had to do it. I shouldn't have done that political joke. It works for Tim Allen. Anyway. Anyway, guys, I know your time is busy, so I'm going to keep this short here. I'm going to knock it off here, and I apologize if I went too long. Anyway, over here, there will be two videos. Please go take a look at it. Over here will be a round circle thing with my face in it. It's an ugly face. But it's a subscribe button. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see further things. I post daily, so if you want to get it, subscribe to the button. Hit the little uh, bell icon next to the subscribe button, and you'll get it in your feed. All right. If you got any questions or comments, leave me a comment in the, in, in the comments section or ask me a question in the comments. I will respond back to you, and I really want to hear from you. I really, 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 really do. All right, guys. Other than that, I'm going to let you go. God bless. Have a great day. Bye.